Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here and on this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to create a bootable USB Linux drive that is compatible with your Mac. Now I recently ran into this issue when I had this USB drive that had Kali Linux on it and that I use for all my other computers and I tried to boot it on my Mac and for some reason it would not work. So I was like, alright, how do we take care of this? So after digging around in the internet I found a really good application that lets you do this really quickly. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get started so first and foremost you have to download an application called Mac Linux USB loader now you can find this application um, I put the link below on this video so if you click on that link it'll allow you to download this application and the second thing is we want to download uh, the distro of Linux that we're gonna use now since I'm a security guy got my Kali Linux distro handy right here so once we have these two things, first thing we want to do is extract the zip file that the Mac Linux USB loader came in. So I already have mine extracted here, and then we're going to go ahead and launch that application. Now, once we have that bad boy launched, we want to open up our disk utility application for the Mac. Now, you can find this a couple ways. You can type in disk utility here and locate it for you. So if we go disk util, it'll find it right there for you. So once we have that opened up, we want to format our USB drive that we're going to be using. So we have our SanDisk Cruiser here, so we're going to hit Erase. And then we want to make sure a couple things are, are in place. We want to make sure that's MS-DOS FAT for the format. And then the scheme is going to be MBR, Master Boot Record. And you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to have mine as Untitled. So we hit Erase. Let that do its thing. Boom. That's all set. We hit Done. And then we're going to just close this application out and then we go back to our Mac Linux USB loader. And then we're going to click on create live USB. And now it's asking us where the location of the distro is. So we're going to go to our desktop, Kali Linux, boom, that's open. Now it's going to ask us to select the destination. So that's our jump drive, our untitled one, and we hit next. And it's going to say begin installation or click on begin installation. We just hit begin installation. And now this is a tricky part because it's going to ask you to authorize Mac Linux USB loader to access your USB drive. Please click grant access below. Now, my luck has always been I click on the device right here and I hit grant access. And now it's doing its thing. Now, a side note, if you get an error where it's telling you that it cannot access that resource, I've also provided a actual command below on the description that you can copy and paste because I was having issues with that. And all you have to do is open up terminal and copy and paste this command right here and delete that and it's going to get rid of that error for you. So we'll let this thing do its thing. Now this will take about give or take five to ten minutes. So we're just going to take a break and we'll come back when it's completed. And we have success, folks. So it has completed building the drive, and now all you have to do is restart your computer and plug that drive in. But make sure when you're restarting it, you're holding the Option key down, and it's going to give you the option to boot to the actual disk for the operating system of your computer or to boot from the USB drive. Now, this will work not just specifically for Kali, but it will work with other versions of Linux out there like Mint and Ubuntu. So this is a very, very handy application to have uh, on your Mac when you want to create you know, bootable USB drives on the go. Now, if you guys like the video, feel, feel free to leave some comments below, subscribe to the channel, and of course, uh, follow me on Twitter at Nightingale. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, and take care. Peace.